we're gonna do like little pumpkins we will put faces on they're not just gonna be just a ball with lines it looks like a peeled little satsuma doesn't it clementine a peeled little orange um so we're gonna use our saratino paste um i can't remember if sound was on or off but it was the dark green the light green and the orange and the white that i have used on mine i don't know are these in shot richard the can you see shot, the board yeah. um on some of them i've put a bit of white just to turn down the orange a bit because it's quite a bright orange but if you want to leave it bright you can it's those of you that have used the serotino it is very hard when you first get it and it can sometimes be quite crumbly but that's what it's meant to be like the different colors are usually all, all slightly different this one's it's still soft enough that i can sort of easily break it it's quite tough to knead if you find that you're struggling with it or that it is a bit crumbly just stick it in the microwave maybe for sort of five seven seconds depending on the size of the piece and then just give it a knead because the cocoa butter that's in this paste will mean that when it gets a bit of heat in it it goes soft and you can sort of mold it together a little bit okay let's go for a small one that's about 10 grams so that's about 10 grams of paste i'll just pop it there a second when you first knead it it's sometimes very soft and it can it can squash a little bit so i tried to roll a ball earlier and then put it to one side 54 and a half so let's say about 55 okay so you squeeze it quite hard, like roll when, when you roll, compress quite a bit, put quite a bit of pressure on to get rid of your creases and cracks. If it gets a bit sticky, just put a little bit of corn flour on your hands to stop it sticking to you, okay? The warmer it gets, the stickier it will become to work with. Okay, so for our pumpkin, you can either keep it very rounded or you might want to squash it down a little bit or you might even want it like a little bit taller. It really is up to you. Usually I squash it down a little bit anyway when I'm kind of putting the lines in on it not on purpose but it just kind of happens so take something a little bit rounded like your bowling tool and push a little indentation in the top let's just round it off gently with my finger just watch out for your fingernails getting in the way and i'm going to use this tool and i forgot is it a scriber tool is it an fmm scriber it's a tool? knife scriber tool it's classic, knife scriber yeah. tool. the thinner bit you're going to push in put quite a bit of pressure on so it gives me an indentation and we'll run it all the way to the bottom. I'm not worried if I don't get a straight line if I go off at an angle, that's fine. And I don't know that pumpkins actually have quite as deep a lines as what I'm putting in or not, I'm not sure. And it's up to you how many lines you want to put in. Uh, question for you? Yes. What prompted making pumpkins today? I wanted something that was quick and easy to do because I hadn't planned it again. Mind you, I don't plan anything, do I? <laughs> um, but it was quite Halloween. Well, I'd seen everybody starting to think about Halloween stuff, so I thought, well, pumpkins are fairly halloween aren't they? So we'll do some pumpkin-related things. I'm just taking it all the way to the bottom. Don't worry if it's not perfectly neat at the bottom, unless you're going to be turning them upside down. Mine are going to be sat that way, so you're never actually going to see the bottom. I wanted to, I really wanted to kind of do things with eyes, but I thought it takes a long time. Like, if I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways to do eyes, it takes a long time to make a full face each time. So I thought, oh, a pumpkin. I'm not spending ages creating a, the shape of a face. You know, it's something fairly simple and it can look quite cute as well. So it's nice to have a range of sizes in them. I mean, you don't have to. I probably wouldn't go too big if you're keeping them solid paste though. Otherwise they start to become very, very heavy. Do you know what these are bigger to make a marzipan? Have you got the picture of the? Yeah, they would actually, they'd be nice, I love marzipan. Okay, so this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a little ledge across for like the eyebrow line. I'm gonna use the back of my knife. So I'm gonna kinda go, I think across here, pressing in like that. Okay, I'm gonna try and my fingernails keep getting in the way a bit today. I just want to try and kind of pull this area down. No, I'm gonna use my fingers. It's because it started hardening this one because I did this one a while ago. So it started to get a little bit on the hard side. And in fact, let's go over with a balling tool as well. fingernails are really getting in the way today. I don't think it was that long ago when I cut them. You know, you should do them about once a week because they seem to just grow so fast. Not that you guys care about my fingernails growing. But yeah, I should, I should have trimmed them really because they do get in the way. Okay, it's just so that I've got like, can you see a dip so that my eyes will go in easily? I'm gonna use, oops, throwing things around. 
the fat end of my Dresden tool and I'm going to keep the flat end up kind of against, can you see that top bit there? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, and I'm going to push it in. Okay, it's not big enough, but I want that kind of shape, but it needs to be bigger. So what I'm going to do is pull this down. Can you see as I pulled it down, it's given me like a little bag under its eye. And just be careful when you're holding it that you're not squashing the pumpkin too much. That's why this one that I sort of made the shape for earlier, it's not as soft as the ones that I've just shown you now. So it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to hold it. You can put it in something on your table. So like if I had a cornflower pouch with a bit more cornflour in, I could rest it like that and work on it. Should I keep it in that? Maybe I should. That'd be good for the that. camera angle. Is it? I need to just move. Just move them up around. a little bit. Okay. Well, that's it. I'm trying to think what other tool I've got that's the same kind of shape but bigger for like a semicircle. I don't know whether to go bigger. Yeah, I want them to have quite big eyes. So, oops. And if the bags don't look right, we're creating bags here, you see. You can see under the eyes. We can always just re-put them on afterwards. Because I've been a little bit wonky there. I want one eye to be much bigger than the other. So you can have eyes that are the same size as each other, or you can create them so that one is a bit bigger than the other one. Just to recap, um... These ones are made with, these are just solid modelling paste, aren't they? Yeah, these, these are just the solid modelling paste. Yeah, this is about as big as I would probably want to go with the sol solid paste. If they're not going to be eaten, you could put a piece of polystyrene in the middle, I suppose, but... Look at very saggy eyes now, look. Very, very saggy. Okay, I'm just going to roll a ball, and then I'm obviously not going to need quite that much, so I'm going to cut a little bit off. It's a bit of guesswork as to whether it's going to fit in the eye or not just a little bit big that oops sticking to me quite warm today mind you i've put a big hoodie on today yeah apologies i'm a scruff today and i also put my makeup on this morning so you can see i've cut a bit more off let's see if that will fit into it fits but it's not giving me um the sort of bit above the eye doesn't now stick out so it doesn't look like he's got furrowed brows i'm gonna take that out a second what i'm gonna try and do Let's nudge this back a bit more. That's a, can you hit the cornflower underneath? It kind of squished my eye shape out a little bit as well. These will look neater when we put the whites in too. I'm gonna go even smaller. Oops, cut a bit more off. Let's cut some off the top there. There we go. And we're gonna push that in place there. Let's see. If if you find it sticks to your finger rather than sticking in place, just grab a paintbrush. Where have I put my paintbrush? And just put a tiny bit of water on it and we'll put that in there so that it helps it stick in place. Okay. So if I take a small ball, I'm just going to use my craft knife because it's a bit easier for me to cut small things with. So I'm going to cut a bit off the top of that. Picking it up now, that's the difficult bit. Put a tiny bit of water in the eye. And twist it round. So if you can get it to cling to your craft knife, it's going to make it a little bit easier for you. There we go. We'll pop it up there like that. Do the same with the other one. I actually don't mind if this one's a bit bigger. Oops, stabbed that with my fingernail. My fingernails are really getting in the way today. And no one's going to be eating this one, guys. Okay. So that's it just like that. You can also, actually, you could even put a bit of black into, you know, that bit of the mouth. If you've got a small, small bit of black, we'll push it in with the tool that I created the hole with. Just so that it looks kind of darker. I want the claret, the fractal claret pink. Add, add a little bit of black to the eyes in the mouth, eh? Changes oh, you mean the pupils when I've had the, the pupils? The pupils, yeah, yeah. changes yeah. changes a lot um, really. So, he doesn't look very scary whatsoever, does he? But that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. He looks sleepy. Yeah, I wanted, I really wanted the claret 
fractal one, but I can't find where I've, where I've put it. This is the strawberry. This one, this one works fine as well, though. It's just the other one was just a little bit darker in colour for me than this one. Problem is, I don't know when to stop, when to call it a day with it. Okay, so it's got some pink on there. So if I put some colour around there, then we'll see what it looks like. Ooh, what colour eyes. I'm tempted to almost go orange because of the orange on the pumpkin, but then that might look too much. But green. We can try green. Let's try green. So these are just edible pens. So I'm What's just gonna... Sorry. I can't see what I'm doing if I don't lean over it. That's the problem. Right. Best guesses. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is just colour around here. Now, be really gentle, because normally what I'd do is I'd give this paste 10 minutes to firm up, and then I'd put the colour on. I should have really just given it 10 minutes and worked on another one, shouldn't I, for a bit? Just because it can push into the paste and leave a little indentation. So it's better if you just give it 10 minutes to firm up first. Yeah, are you adding, adding a tongue? Uh, I wasn't going to, but you, I shall suppose I, I could do. Bit, shall I find a little bit of pink paste? Yeah, there? I forgot to get some pink paste. It might be a bit soft, my black at the moment. I'll go over that again in a bit. So we only need a very tiny, tiny bit. It's just gonna go in the back of his mouth, or kind of in this bottom bit here. So when I put it in, if I just drop it on the edge there, and then I'll just kind of push it in, and maybe just press down slightly on the top. It might. His yeah. bags poke out a lot. If you don't want his bags poking out as much, just nudge them down. Although I do like the bags. It's just that they stick out a lot. Which way do I want to be the front? Let's have this bit as the front, I think. Let's keep this one with kind of rounded eyes instead of sort of semicircles like that other one's got. Again, let's try and go for You can tell I did this one earlier because it's, it's much, much firmer now. Just seeing if I can warm it up with the palm of my hand at all. So you might have to put quite a bit of pressure there to get the indentation in. And you don't have to have an indentation. You can just stick the eyes on the surface. They'll just stick out a bit more. So it depends on if you want them to stick out or not. Let's just nudge that back in. Okay, so let's put a bit of water in the back of those. And then we'll put a little ball in there. So it, Mine still sticks out a bit, but that's fine. I'm happy for it to stick out a little bit. And then we want a bigger one on the other side. That oh, maybe it needs to be a bit bigger actually on that side. Let's put a little bit more in there. I mean, my eyes are fairly small, I think, compared to the whole pumpkin, but you could do them much bigger. Let's draw some little bags in again. It's a little line down here. And a little line this side. Yeah, I think just like that will be okay. I'm gonna give him just a really little, plain little mouth. Oh, do I do this side or that side? Let's go this side again. So literally just tiny, tiny little mouth, because it's cuter. Again, I have to be careful not to push on too hard. The pupils make the eyes look different depending on if you keep them really tiny or if you do them really big as well. It just completely changes what you're doing. So let's try and draw a little round or roundish on there. Roundish in shape. And I just want to leave a little bit. Can you see white? Again, if I'd let these firm up, it would be a little bit better. Because my eyes are odd sizes, I don't mind if the pupils are slightly different in size. So see if we've got any questions. Okay. I want to have a bit of a play with them. Sorry guys, you, you guys have to sit and just watch me while I just play. So like these ones, I mean, could even use them upside down, couldn't I, for this? I'm going to use them the right way around and just see what they look like. So you just push them in. Actually, one could be asleep. I could do an asleep one, couldn't I? Like that. You either can colour these in white or you can press that middle bit in and then fill it with white. Let me have a go with one of these ones on here. I'm going to do one asleep, definitely, because then I don't have to do too much with it. Not that I'm lazy or anything. So can you see, these are the cartoon set as well. There is actually a fourth one in the cartoon set, but I, I've lost mine. I've lost the fourth one. 
Let's do, should we do yawning mouth? So if I put something in that's rounded, so like my paintbrush handle, and we just pull it downwards. I say yawning there, they look like they're yawning or screaming. It is Halloween, where is Halloween? Yeah, I suppose so. And then I just want a tiny bit of water just along the bottom edge of these. And then what I'm going to do is roll that nice and thin. And maybe actually, maybe not quite as thin as that. I was going to say really thin, but I think it's going to look nicer if it's a bit chunkier. But I still want a point on one end. And I'm going to put it along the bottom edge of that eye carefully. And then what I'm going to do is trim it where it comes to here, kind of kissy diagonally downwards. So it should hopefully make that look like it's a closed eye and that's, that's it. our cool. little eyelash. The tricky bit is getting it the same size on the other side. I think this one might be a bit thicker than the other one. So cutting through a bit of a diagonal. <coughs> do they look like little closed eyes now? They do. This one definitely needs a bit of blusher. That's why I didn't give the other one blusher. The dark green one though, I think I probably have to go for the claret. For the colour. I just don't know where I put the claret. Put a bit of black in there. Squeeze it in with the paintbrush handle. Let's do the tall one. Yeah, These are my one. tea look eyes. They come in like different shapes. So that's the small one, that's the big one. I want, I want this one. And they say left and right on, so I should get them the right way around, but I still don't always hold them the right way up. Let's see. So you push these ones in. So these kind of make the indentation for you. So left, so I just need to turn it this way, I think. Yeah, so again, it just gives me a different shape of eye, doesn't it? You can use all sorts of tools, can't you, really, to make eyes as well. So yeah. you don't, like, so you don't need to have these. Some tools that we've got, obviously, because we've got a shop, we do sell like the eye modeling tools, but you can use all sorts of tools. Actually, let's go for this one. This one looks a little bit more evil. Do you think? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to one side again. The thing is, I always do it to the same side. I'm going to put an indentation there and there. And then I want to try and link the two together, but with a little kind of curve. Just a little bit. That's it. So like with this one. Now it looks happy. <laughs> black in there. Well, has he got a happy mouth full of teeth or is he just happy? It's going to have some teeth this one. Ooh. This one's going to get some teeth. I just want a little piece of black that's just long enough to fill inside the mouth but I need to squash it down as well because it needs to actually fill the mouth. When, it, when I say fill it wants to cover the back of it but I don't want it to stick out too much otherwise it won't get space for teeth. Although I guess because it's Halloween-y if the teeth poke out a lot it would still look okay. So can you see we're just sticking that into that gap. She's a bit of bite for our little teeth. Does it want a tongue? If it does, we'll stick that in first. Let's get a little bit of pink. Um, squash that down, that might be too big actually. I'm gonna cut a bit off the bottom of it. It is, it is right though, like the eyes just they completely, the type of eyes you put the position in, the size of them, it completely changes everything yeah, on your, it does your change face, them. doesn't it? Yeah. Because the same applies to like people as well, doesn't it? Not just the yeah. pumpkins. In fact, let's put the water in the top of the mouth now, ready for some little teeth. Let's cut off the little end bit. Oh, it's got a fang. It's not a fang. <laughs> Are they not? It's too, too <laughs> rounded to be a fang. I don't think it looks like a fang. Does it look like a fang? No, no, they are too rounded. 
I'm not going to get many of them in, I don't think. I've maybe made them a bit big to get many in. Oh, they're cool. Maybe I'll just put one more in. And again, because it's Halloween-y, I don't mind if they're all, like, different sizes with the teeth. Like, if one's longer than the other or shorter, fatter. Oop. Got a bit of black on there from the black paste. Tilt it a bit. Yeah, cool. Just make sure it just meets the top of the, the mouth. Let's put some pink on. Put some blush on. Yeah, we do have to apologise that there is. Um, I know a few people commented. We are there are quite a few a lot quite a few people spamming in comments today. So oh, we are trying that? to yeah. Um, we are going around hiding them and banning them as we are going along. So apologies uh, if you have had any spam sent to you. How or, do people find you to spam you? I don't know. Like, but there is quite a lot today. Hmm, sorry, guys. Yeah, don't ever click on any links that people put in the comments, just in case, will you? Unless it's by us. Yeah, the, yeah, the links <laughs> from us are, should be okay. Um, but yeah, if somebody else is putting links, get the Y in the eye socket. Yeah, that went in quite well. Just nudge it around a little bit with your tool if you want to get a bit more to the shape. So let's stick in a little pupil in each one. Just want a very tiny bit of water. I think these might be different sizes. Mm, close enough. I'm going to go oval with these ones. The other ones I did rounded, so these ones we're going to go. Can you see a bit more oval? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. See, now that does give him a bit of a menacing, menacing look. Do you think? Yes. Oh, Do you not think? Know to, I don't know whether to make it a girl. Well, actually, no, boys have eyelashes, so I have to stop saying that it's a girl just because I've given it eyelashes because it, <laughs> it doesn't make it a girl. I think I'm going to put some little eyelashes across the top. So like we did kind of with the closed ones, but only this time we'll go across the top rather than across the bottom. we go a nice thin point. Uh, we're going to put it on here. And then we're going to cut it off carefully where it meets the edge. Okay, yeah. Not quite so menacing now. <laughs> <laughs> Just having the it. eyelashes changes it a bit. Do the same on this side. I don't know if I've made them a bit fatter, the eyelashes on this side or not. And then let's cut it this way again. Oops. Kind of don't think I pressed on quite hard enough. It tore a little bit there. It's a little bit longer on that side there than the other side. Let's cut that off. I think it's more like, like you can do a lot more with them, you know, like if you do want more colour and stuff on the eyes. Let's see. Put some colour on the eyes on this one. Maybe we could have red eyes. Will it look more menacing with red eyes? It looks menacing as it is. Do you think? <laughs> I don't think it looks that menacing, this one. Okay, so I don't think we're going to want as much paste for these ones. But I am going to have to make sure it's rolled to a point. Let me just see how much I've got. This one I've pressed in deeper than this one, so this one will need less white paste than the other one. start with this one so it's got point at both ends just want to see where you push the points in I think this shape's a little bit harder to kind of fill the the white bit of let's see let's see if it fills it this one Oh, that eye, that eye looks smaller because I've put less white in. Well, I haven't put less white in. I've put more white in than the other one. But because it's set, the hole was deeper. Can you see it's ended up set further back? But that's fine. And we can always kind of change them a little bit. So, you know, if you're wanting to... You guys will have seen me do this on some of the others. You know, if you want to lift... Oh, yeah, I didn't brow. I was going to zoom in there because these are always A quite brow cool. area here, for example. Should really make that white a bit smaller, shouldn't I? But it's fine. Actually, I probably let me take this white out. I'll put a little bit less in, and then we'll maybe try and bring one brow down. A did you use water with that one or not? Um, yeah, I think it did. Uh, it came out. It just took a bit more picking out because of the water that's in it. So let's put 
push that in. Oops. Be careful when you're pushing it in because it will leave little indentations from the tool. Should have really used something that was a bit more sort of softer at the end because it'll push it in without giving me as many lines. Let's see if we can push this side downwards. Watch your head. Just watch your head. Sorry, that's it. Sorry. Red eyes. Oh, you are going red. Yeah. I'm just going to see what it looks like. Yeah, I've just seen somebody comment. Yeah, you can you can do the same as we're doing today with polymer clays. Those using modeling paste, like cake decorating modeling paste. But yeah. You... I think you maybe can't go as solid for the bigger ones. So like if you're doing big things in polymer clay, I don't think it can be solid. I think you have to have like tin foil and things in the middle because I think it cracks when you're cooking it, I think. Like I say, I'm not actually much of an expert with polymer clay. I've only ever used it a couple of times, so there's a lot that I don't know about it. But I do know that um, people use my tutorials for making things in polymer clay, so you must be able to use mm. it a bit. And you can always as well, you know, if you don't want to roll out the black for the line across your eye, you can always just draw one on. I think the black line actually makes quite a big difference, don't you think, to what they look like? I think whenever you add like lashes or... Yeah. Mm, yeah, his brows are more apparent now as well. Or her brows. Maybe this one could have... Should it have another sad face one? His mask gonna have to go to one side again, I think. Only because it's difficult to do the sad face over this line. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, it's gonna go to one side. I'll show you the sad face because then you guys can see how I did it. I actually used one of these and I kind of pulled. Can you see down a little bit like that? Mm -hmm. Then I went over with a bit more definition here. Can you guys still see it? Sorry, I know I keep pulling it closer to me, don't I? Then once I've done that, I go back underneath. Can you see to lift it so that it looks like, like the bottom lips kind of, you know, pulled out and a bit pouty. Do you call it pouty when you bottom lips out? It's not really pouty, is it? Just smooth it off then with your fingers. So I almost kind of pushed up one of those eyes as well. So again, can you see you can change the shape of that eye a little bit. If you get them to the rough shape, sometimes I just stick a ball in and push it, but it does help if you got it the rough shape first. I can't decide if I prefer like the shapes or if I prefer just little round ones on these. I'm not sure. We'll get them all. Once we're all done, we can do, once we're done, we can line up, can't we, and just have a look. Well, it doesn't matter which ones I like more because they're all done, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hang on, so let's nudge this around so remember like you can use your dresden tool to nudge it around but if you've got something that's a little bit softer at the end you're not going to put as many sort of marks into it oh, it's too big so I'll squash them down a bit first before i put them in place then i'll pop yeah, them in place this cool. one might not actually fit so we might have to cut a bit of this one Oops. off Yes. Sorry. Right. Cut trim it. a little bit off there. Okay. Just a little bit. Maybe we'll add a bit of colour. Do you want green again or a different colour? I keep meaning to try orange, but I just don't think it's going to work on orange, is it? Well, you're not going to give it a whirl. I'm not going to go. How about purple? The lilac. The purple was look alright, yeah. Let's go purple. So I'm useful for some things, for suggestions. Useful for filming. <laughs> Apart from the mishaps. Okay, so I'm going to go big with this one. But you can use the pens and put like more than one colour together. So if I wanted a different colour as well with this. But remember what I said about leaving it to dry a little bit first. So if you let your paste dry or firm up 
rather than drying is going to make it easier when you're trying to sort of put this on. You know, if people know they're going to do like, say they want like the purple or they want the colour behind the pupil, could they paint the white first then put the black on top of it? Do you mean, could they paint the iris first? Yeah, paint the iris first. Yeah, you can do. On. It's just it makes it easier for me to get the shape because my, I can draw around the pupil, whereas sometimes, I mean, sometimes I do the background first, but what I find is I don't always draw like a circle very well. I still haven't now, actually. <laughs> you had an then, eye let me find, I'm just seeing if I can find a small brush because sometimes, you know, if you go a bit dark, you can take a tiny bit of water and just Just watch your head can you see i'm just taking some of that color back out if you go too dark i don't know if that really shows yeah, up to that shorter. Just, yeah let's put a bit green on just so i can show you that you can add more than one color so if you can carefully get a bit of color on the edge mm, actually the green doesn't work very well with purple maybe i should have gone for blue but it was more just to show you that you can put more than one colour into the eyes. But I think blue would have probably worked better with the with the purple, I think. This one's big enough actually that I could put the dot in in white as well. I mean paste even, I mean. When it's really tiny eyes, I tend to paint them in. So if we get a tiny piece, I still want to go small though. In fact, this one I might give two whites to the eyes because I'm going to show you it with paint because then it just shows you a different way as well. I think that's a bit bigger than the other one, I think. It gets tricky when they get small. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to move it to the other side. Usually, I would have them like both to the right or both to the left, but sometimes I'll put them both at like the outside edge if for any reason it's not looking right with them both at the same side. I'm going to show you where if you. Where's my white? Is that white? No, that's cream. You can use like a little balling tool with a bit of different solution. Can you still see this on my yeah, own shot? Yeah, you're fine. So put a tiny bit in there. So this is to mix. This is if you want to mix paint. Actually, you can just use um, food colors as well, though. So this is dipping solution mixed with like an edible powder, isn't it? Yeah. Dipping solution is a little bit like it's basically it's clear alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you want a tiny bit on the ball and top, and then you're just gonna nudge it in, so that we get a little little dot. I mean, the, the white makes such a big difference, doesn't it? So rather than doing big eyelashes that flick out, I'm just going to follow, you know, the edge so that we get a little arch of black around here. And I don't, you don't even have to go all the way into the inside corner of the eye, really. I try and keep it a bit thicker near the top. Oops, I've gone over the edge there. Like I say, if you find that with the pen you struggle and you can't get it neat enough, just stick it on with a piece of paste. Again, some people, some of, like when I'm teaching, some students find it much easier to stick things on with paste. Some of them prefer to use the pens, and some prefer to paint with like the food colors and paintbrushes. Okay. Oh, I know what I can do. This one that I did earlier. Can you see? Let's draw. See his eyes look quite small I think it's just because it's because we used the pearls and ah. so this one was just the pearls stuck in and then I pulled the brow down over the top which I think we did what was the last thing we made did we, what did we make last week the horse in the class or do you mean no no in the Facebook live yeah. this one I I thought it would suit a little um hook so I put a little hole not hook what's it called what does Frankenstein have Bolts. a bolt bolt on either side of the head See, look, look how much mess I make. I can't find anything that I need. A bit of water in each of those. Then we'll stick his little bolt in. I'm wondering if I should have painted the bolt first and then stuck it in. Because I was thinking a bit of silver maybe on that. So I've 
got the ones that you just put water in. So these ones you don't need dripping solution for, you see. And I can just remember that color. You, they're just water activated, but they're not, you know, like the dust sometimes dry and you get powder. These ones don't like, I won't get that color on me at all when it's set. And I think these are good because you do use water with them. Because some people obviously don't like to use um, alcohol. And as the label it says, the water-based, alcohol-free and vegan. Yeah, that's right. And edible. <laughs> and edible, yeah. So once you've mixed it for a while, it becomes like a paint. Although really I should have probably let these sort of set in place a bit longer before painting them in case I knock them out. So I'm just going to try and gently paint that on there. So usually what I do is put a bit on my brush, then I dab the extra off in the lid and then I still dab more off on my kitchen roll. And then we're going to try and get it between sort of the, these big pieces. So where the lines are, where I put the lines. It's quite bright this. So rather than it looking dark, it looks fairly bright this one. So I don't mind going over a little bit onto here. So can you see, I'm not doing it overly neatly. Like I am going a bit beyond that line as well. But it builds up gonna, in depth, doesn't yeah, it? I'm going to go a bit darker, so you can have more on your brush here. You probably want more colour near the bottom because that's where it would be more shadowed. And then the top of your pumpkin is where all the light would kind of catch, so it would be a little bit lighter in colour there. I'm going to end up filthy as well in a minute. Okay, but then, I mean you can add lots of different colours if you want anyway, but I think, do I want brown or black? I think I might use brown so that we can go a bit darker still. So I'm gonna try and try and mix it in a little bit with the orange because I don't want to go too dark at first. So we'll mix the two together. I could use a lighter brown as well if you prefer. I'm gonna actually go with a smaller, thinner brush so I can get it into little gaps easier. So for example, into can you see that mouth area there? We're going to want to be a bit darker up here. I think my fingers are in the way, aren't they? Have you guys seen? A little bit, yeah. When you when you move, yeah, you can see that's fine. And usually I have a like a, a fluffy brush to hand that I can use. I don't know. All my my mermaid brushes are the good ones that are like the fluffy ones. A quick question for you: How do you mm -hmm. clean your dusting brushes? Um, with washing up liquid. So just washing up liquid. But what I do is I put the washing up liquid on like a washing up sponge, and then I rub the brush into the sponge with all the um, washing up liquid and I'll do that a few times till I can see that it's completely clear like the water that's coming out with it. Same one can you see but clean so that I'm not mixing too much of the orange and with the green. If you're not sure if the colour is going to be a bit dark as well you can put a tiny bit of cornflour in with your colour. I've gone so subtle that you don't even see it. And you don't have to dust at all. You know, if you prefer not to dust, that's absolutely fine. Although I don't want to get too much of this on the eyes themselves. So if you wanted it more obvious, you just go for darker green, or you could use like the black or some of that brown again. So I'm gonna try and go dark all around the bottom section of this pumpkin. A little bit darker. Okay, so I guess it's much darker in color, but that's fine. Did we not give this one blusher? We did not give that one blusher. So I probably won't dust them all while you guys are watching just because it's the same. I'm going to be doing the same thing over and over again. Just push him up to me a little bit. It's just so that you guys can kind of see. Oh, I like him in a bit pink. Not very scary whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, guys, it's easier when you're doing them if you're actually able to look at them yourself. It doesn't matter. As long as they can see, you don't need to be able to see what you're doing. Okay, it doesn't matter if I can't see. Zoe's got so much talent that you can just do it with your eyes closed. Oh, we could try that mm, one week. I don't think so. What could Zoe model with her eyes closed? Okay, so I'm just going to keep going around with the 
with the green. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, another, another delivery man. Cheers. But like I say, you don't have to dust. I think it's usually a bit thicker near the base, so we'll thicken it a bit there. Oh wait, actually, I'm gonna thin it because I'm gonna thin it and then have it so it kind of, can you see, thin comes out thicker and then goes thinner again, so it fits into that little bit of space a bit better there. Let's put a bit of water on the bottom. And I'm gonna push that in, like that. I'm gonna try and flatten the top. Can you actually see that, sorry? Uh, yeah. I'm tilting off the camera. And then let's see if we can put some little lines on. I think they're sometimes a bit textured, aren't they? A little bit. Does it look like he's got a bit of texture on there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, I've put the I've put the lids on. <laughs> Maybe because that one's brown, like I could put the dark brown on, but Black might sit a bit better. Again, I have to be careful where I'm touching him now because my hands are so dirty. So I'll put a little black on there. Actually, some green might look nice on that as well. But so hopefully, you guys like can just have a play around with like different faces, even if you're not making pumpkins. And remember, if you want really easy ones, you can just... I don't actually know. Have I got any of the pumpkins, the old pumpkins laying about? I don't know why they are, do you? Oh. They may be put away in a cupboard with Halloween stuff. But if you, if you want it to take you a few seconds rather than as long as I've sort of taken, just put two black pearls in. These are the bigger ones, these ones. These are cuter because they're bigger, or I think they're cuter. These are the 10 mil ones, but you can go smaller. Obviously, it depends on the size of your pumpkin. Like, these would probably be a bit too big for something that size. So I probably want the smaller pearls for one like that. What are you doing, Richard? Just get in the face and that camera over there. Oh, okay, sorry. Just that way. And... Can you actually see them? Yep. Okay, so I think that's it for today, isn't it? It is, yes. 